Hey, what's going on? I hope you guys are all having a great day. Do you guys have a set of speakers that have hardened surrounds on them? Like these ones? These speakers came out of a 1990s mini system from Sony. My parents' neighbor had these speakers lying around and he just gave them to me. They came in, uh, it was a three-way, but the speaker set was actually sealed. While they do work, they didn't sound good, so I knew something had to have been up since they both sounded exactly the same. And they're a pretty big speaker for a mini system. But as you can see here, the surround has hardened on these. The speaker doesn't really move freely. I have to put quite a bit of pressure on it before it to move. And a woofer should move a lot more than this. It has a one inch voice coil on the inside. Turn the light on. These are Sony branded. And they're made in Indonesia. The way to fix these are, you have to put, at least this is the method I use, is I use brake fluid. And I know it sounds funny, but brake fluid will restore the softness to these surrounds. You can only do it on these types of surrounds. These are a cloth treated surround right here. I have different types of examples of different surrounds and speakers over here. This is the most common, you find them on more older speakers, it's just a paper accordion surround. No treatment or anything on it. You cannot apply that liquid to this, I'm sure it'll damage the speaker. I've never tried it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Next you have a doped surround speaker, it's basically just a paper surround speaker, but it's been treated with a dope solution. These ones shouldn't require that ever. And again, I'm not sure you could do it on these ones either because it's just a treated paper surround. Next you have foam surrounds. These ones also you cannot do it on. There's a different type of foam surround. This one appears to have a shinier foam than this one. But these ones won't work. The foam just absorbs it. These ones over here came out of a Mitsubishi Eclipse from 1991. These were the dash speakers. And shockingly, the surrounds on these are still soft and the speaker still moves. These ones have the type of surround. This is a uh, cloth surround, which you can also do the thing on, which I'm gonna be doing to those speakers with the brake fluid. But they don't need it. So I won't be doing it on these ones. And the last type of surround I have is this one. This is a vintage speaker from the 60s, I believe. It is a tweeter with no surround. They just glue it right to the metal frame. Let's get started. Here's a quick sound clip just to hear how it's going to sound before I treat it. I'll play the same sound again after I treat it. Barely any movement for a six and a half inch speaker. Just a plain woofer. All right, let's begin. It's very easy to do. All you really have to do is just take your brake fluid, any type will do as far as I'm concerned, and your paintbrush, dip it in there, just enough to get it wet and you start going at the edge. Be careful not to get it on the paper because it will uh, take away the glue too, so what you don't want to do. So try to be careful. I use a smaller one as I want to be as precise as possible and not damage and get the solution on the cone because it stains the cone as well. So just take your time and keep the going slow and it'll be done before you know it. I 
めて。I hope my head's not in the way when I'm doing it. If it is, my apologies. It's just tricky to do with it over there. The last. Let me see. See a droplet on the end, and I don't want it dripping on the comb. It must be really dry there. There's actually a dimple in the, in the surround. Now, what chemical process is actually occurring when this is happening, I do not know. I just know that it works when I do it. And I'm sure it'll work for you too. But remember, it can only be done on a cloth surround. Can't do it on paper or foam or any type, other type that I'm aware of. Just, just the、uh, cloth surround instead of hardened. This method works on it. Alright, the first one is done. You do have to let it sit in for about 20 minutes or so. And sometimes, depending on the severity of it, a second application might be done, but since I have, might be needed. But since I have done this before to these particular speakers, I'm assuming one is all I'm going to need. I'm just kind of going back over it again. Ah, there's a hair. Not applying more as a second coat, just kind of going over it again and making sure there's no excess in one spot more than the other, and kind of evening it out. I think I grabbed a bit too small of a brush as the metal keeps hitting the surround. But it's doing the job, so it'll work nonetheless. It already seems to have a bit more movement than the other one does. Alright, let's do the other one. We're gonna set this one off to the side. Oops. And let it soak while I do this one. Oop, that 
big drop on the side probably is not the best for it. And that's right where the glue would <laughs> go onto the speaker. You attach it to the metal frame. Let's see if I can get some of that. They definitely don't want it to mix when you go on with this. They don't want the glue coming off the bottom of the metal. If you do try this, I would recommend a, a speaker you really don't mind practicing on first, just until you kind of get the hang of how to do it. I did try it with a bigger paintbrush at first too, but that just seemed to be a bit too difficult to control on such a smaller spot. I do find a smaller brush easier to use. I think I just grabbed a bit too small of one. Okay, should be good. Alrighty, it's even more movement. Probably in about another 10 minutes, it'll be good to go. I can already feel this one starting to move a bit more too. All right, we'll come back. We'll let him sit for a little bit. We're back. Let's give him a shot. It's been about 15 minutes. This was the first one we did, and this is the second one we did. So let's do the first one first. Oh yeah, you can already tell the cones move a lot easier. Even this one, I think this one's done too. It even has a better resonance. All right, let's hook these ones up. Oh yeah. Moves way more. Much more movement. Let's turn it up some. Oops. As loud as I can go before it distorts.
hook the other one up too. Works wonders.